So the answer is pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Just be clear, be concise, provide value and a solution. And the amount of money you can make is pretty much almost infinite. And so the reason why I even bring this up today is because Michelle asked me, she says, well, what are you gonna make? What video are you gonna make today? And I said, honestly, I don't know. And as she's asking me this question, I'm reading emails coming through of suggestions and offers. I had three emails and a text message. The text message was from my buddy Chris and he was showing me how somebody was spamming him with an opportunity an almost seemingly unbelievable opportunity of making 50 grand a week or 50 grand a month and how they just really wanted to share this with him and show him how he can copy their success which i gotta tell you guys makes absolutely no sense whatsoever nobody making that kind of money would want you to copy their success brings me to this platform being youtube which is something that I always promote and recommend and share with others and try and help and teach and guide and coach for those who are interested. But YouTube's different. And uh, there's no guaranteed success on YouTube. There's no format that you can copy and get exactly the same thing as someone else. So that's why I don't really have any qualms or any issues at all with sharing YouTube with the world as a opportunity to create another additional income stream if not improving the one that they already have perhaps with a channel that is underperforming or just isn't necessarily making the type of money that you would hope michelle and i we watched a video or several videos last night training education inspiration thought-provoking videos and i came to a conclusion and that was that YouTube's AdSense should never be 100% or at the very least a majority of your earnings. Good reason for that. But we can get into that into another video. Now, as far as the emails that I received, one of them was in fact from YouTube. And YouTube was offering me this opportunity to join their partner program or products program or, nah, I don't even remember exactly what it was called. Let me pull this up. Kevin, join the affiliate program and boost your earnings this spring. Boost your earnings this spring. Join the affiliate program. It's the real deal. Now, I am actually considering joining their affiliate program. And this would be in place of Amazon's affiliate program. And there's good reason for it. And I have my thoughts and opinions but I'm gonna run some tests before I share those with you guys and let you know my findings after I get some I get some time I get some time in the program and the ability to uh, to quantify these res results and and give you guys an, an accurate assessment for your own uh, for your own information really you guys can pick and choose what you want to do but that email from YouTube I almost have to consider it to be the same as my opinions about YouTube. So why would, why would anybody want to approach me and give me the opportunity to make more money? Well, it's because in essence, they're going to make more money. And as long as that's clear and defined and known up front, I think that that could actually be a pretty healthy relationship. For instance, if you have a job, if you work for someone, you have to provide them with more value than they pay you or otherwise or else they're not going to continue to employ you and pay you or you would be a you would be a drain on the business and therefore uh not profitable and less likely to uh, maintain your position and your earnings opportunities this is no different but youtube's not coming to me telling me that they have the secret and they're going to share it with me for uh a limited time only if i just sign up now now another email that i received this is the second email so i had one text message three emails we're on the second email and the other email that i received was from somebody who's a fan of my channel <laughs> i love how emails come through with the subject or opening line i'm a fan of your channel i'm a fan of your content these in my opinion folks are dead giveaways that you're not you're purely just trying to provide me with some form of warm welcome 
and uh, uh, enticing salutation or greeting to make me want to be interested in what you have to say or what you're going to ask me or potentially pitch and try to sell me. And in this case, in this instance, it was service. It was the service of, I believe, editing, video editing or some form of content creation service or whatever it may be. And I believe the pitch was something along the lines of boost your retention. If your retention is less than 50%, then you know, you're doing something wrong or you know, you're missing out. And look guys, I'll be the first one to tell you God's honest truth. Retention and engagement, they don't matter. Click through rates, they don't matter. Comments, they don't matter. Likes, they don't matter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at this, but it's just like every single metric that they would want you to believe is what matters most and in order for you to then hire them or buy their product really doesn't matter. <laughs> The only thing that really matters is what I told you at the beginning of this video. Here, here's a reminder. So the answer is pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Just be clear, be concise, provide value and a solution. And the amount of money you can make is pretty much almost infinite. But I don't knock them for trying. I really don't. Because if you don't try, then odds are you're never going to you're never gonna get anything that you want if you don't actually go out there and try to get it. But this is me trying. And this is me trying to explain to whomever's watching, whoever's listening, my thoughts and my opinions on what works, what doesn't, and most importantly, what I choose to do or what I prefer or want to do. And so the last email came through and it was a familiar email that I've received a few times before I actually referred them to my wife Michelle Squirrel Tribe and uh, here we are yet again and it's interesting because I have to approach this from a natural and an authentic and organic perspective and I'm gonna tell you guys right now I am NOT going to be super effective at selling you something that I don't believe in. Selling you something that I don't use. Something that I would probably never buy. I just don't have it in me. <laughs> so for those reasons, I'm out. Maybe at some point in time that may change. Not my morals and ethics, but whether or not I use this particular product. And if I do, am I inclined am i excited am i motivated to share this i use youtube every day and i'm inclined i'm motivated i'm excited to share youtube every day and that should be the same for pretty much anything so interestingly enough i decided to do a quick inventory a quick check I decided to do a quick check. Whenever you're recording on a GoPro and you notice that the uh, timer is no longer counting, uh, I've had this issue a lot. Maybe I need to update the firmware, but uh, it ends up corrupting the file. So you have to hold the power button for several seconds. And the time in which you have to hold the power button seems like it depends on how long the GoPro has been acting up. And then, uh, then from there, it'll restart and try and repair the file. Again, uh, how long it takes to repair the file seems like it's tied to how long it's been acting up. So uh, I just continue to keep an eye on that, but it usually only happens like once a day if it's gonna happen. So odds are uh, throughout the rest of recording this. Uh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I shouldn't have any issues. That one didn't stop recording or stop counting. It just stopped recording. And then just stop recording again. And again. Come on, GoPro. Get your shit together. All right. So either way, 
I was doing an inventory of my own of essentially products that I have purchased recently or I just use on a regular basis. Things that I potentially take for granted and they mean a lot to me. And I got one here in particular and I actually went to get this yesterday. I grabbed this yesterday because I used this yesterday and there's a good reason why. And uh, here, I'll show you. And that's pretty much it. Now the, uh, the extra yellow string that you see on here it's actually just like some sort of like friendship bracelet that I have that I just, I attach to my phone and just, I kind of leave it there. It's just convenient. Maybe some sort of like pet peeve or something. I don't know. But this product is in fact this lanyard. But this lanyard is useless without the loop that's on my phone that, that fits in and slides in behind the phone case. And the reason why I pulled this out yesterday is because we were going out on the boat. We took the boat out, we took some friends out, took out Mary and Patrick. Go check out Patrick's channel, Destin60. And I like to have my phone attached to me like this when I'm on the boat, just so I don't lose my phone. <laughs> I don't want to drop my phone in the Choctahatchee Bay or something. Uh, even Crab Island would still be detrimental because salt water is not friendly to electronics. Even if, uh, even if you have a phone that has a water resistance rating, the salt will destroy that phone. Ask me how I know. And ask me how I found out while I was in Punta Cana or Dominican Republic. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. But regardless, this is a product that I use. And I've almost kind of taken for granted and I want to share this product with you guys. So I'm going to drop a link down in the description for a similar product, a similar product from Amazon and uh, quite possibly less expensive because the, where I got mine from was pretty expensive, but it was like a package bundle deal. So it is what it is, but I think that they were a little overpriced. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll share some links with you guys for some alternatives. And uh, these links themselves will be affiliate links, so any purchase you make, I will receive a small commission off of. Now, I do have some other products that provide value, and I'll show those to you. They are some products that I've bought here recently, uh, one of which being a supplement, or two of them actually being supplements, one of which being uh, a creatine powder um, creatine monohydrate and Michelle purchased uh, a vegan it's a vegan or a plant-based or organic protein one or the other but at the end of the day they provide a value they're very clear and concise and if there's a problem they offer a solution and that is important folks the solution if you want to sell a product if you want to make money, if you want to build a business, solve problems. These problems could be like small, tiny problems or massive, monumental problems. Think about it. Uh, you want to go on vacation. You want to go to the beach. You want to get in the water. You want to go swimming, right? Well, you're going to need appropriate swimwear to do that. Or at least you should want appropriate swimwear and there are companies out there apparel companies retail clothing lines that provide solutions granted I don't really see it as being a big problem but solutions solve problems so I guess we'll have to call it a problem but you guys get the point I think I hope so that's important whatever you're offering whatever product whatever service either you've created to sell or are choosing to represent and advertise and market should 
provide a solution. It should provide value. It should be clear and concise. It should be easily understandable. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Straight to the point. And so the three that I have today are, or maybe four, this lanyard, the loop, uh, and two supplements. And that's pretty much it, folks. So with these products, I can speak and talk to you guys and share information, my own personal testimony, my own personal experience, and feel good about it from an honest perspective of having purchased, having used, and having being satisfied enough to want to share that with others. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? And not solely for the purpose of only making money or being paid a fee to represent a product or read a script or tell a story that may or may not necessarily be true to me now i'm not knocking anybody else who does this it's just not something that i have a huge interest in doing now michelle and i we're about to head out we're gonna go hit the gym and then uh max has got a groom appointment today and we're probably just gonna chill we may do a live stream later since we didn't do one yesterday the monday mimosa at five central didn't happen because we were out partying sort of celebrating uh for for, for my birthday but uh and thank you all for the uh, birthday wishes i really do appreciate it oh and here's another product here's another product that provides value and solves a problem that uh my friend t got me for my birthday so thanks t thanks for this stanley this giant stanley cooler bucket i don't really know what it's called but i just wanted to share that with you guys from the perspective of simple and easy ways of making money and quite possibly the most effective because unless you're a really 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 good actor or actress or storyteller or salesperson the best simplest and easiest way to convince somebody of anything is to tell them the truth thanks for watching see you guys later i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but i keep pushing my pen rotating my stylus brokenness feeling like sin now no breath low dollar used to be left on red now all the girls go holler now all the girls go follow